In this vlog, I go through John Thornhill's partnership to success training program. We'll go through my impressions of actually attending this training program, as I attempt to build an online business in less than 90 days. Consider it a thorough review of John Thornhill's partnership to success program. Some of the links you will click in this blog and in the video description are affiliate links, and I earn money if you accept the product or service in these links. The first day was dedicated to finding your domain name and signing up with a hosting provider. I did that and I bought a yearly plan with the hosting provider that John recommends. Then I went into the C panel to load WordPress and set everything up. Finally, I wrote and published my first short blog. That was basically the first day. If you've never set up a WordPress blog from scratch, like me, the whole process might take you three hours or more. I always like to double check and test each step thoroughly. It's kind of a maniac attitude, I know, but that's just me. John's teaching is thorough and easy to follow for beginners like me. The only suggestion I have, is to update the video lessons. Sometimes they make reference to themes that might be replaced by newer versions. But that's not at all a showstopper. Day 2 was dedicated to improving the blog appearance. John recommends you use Optimize Press, from what I could see it's a good product, and it has a good price and bonuses, if you purchase it through John's link. And here comes my first big decision. I use a platform called System.io. This platform features an editor for blog development and funnel building, different types of funnels you can build, email marketing solution with contact management, automation, membership sites, and other functionalities. I feel comfortable with System.io, and I really didn't want to learn yet another tool. So, I switched my blog to the System.io platform, basically, I had to build my blog again. I had to weigh my decision on, guaranteed uptime, customer support response experience, learning curve, and finally the fact that I will not get any support on this tool from John's team. I went with System.io, trusting I made the best decision for me. If you are a beginner, or if you don't mind the extra learning curve that comes with a new tool, then go with John's suggestion. Finally, I built an about me page and a contact page, and tried to make my blog look as much as possible like John's example, so I could easily follow along. Day 3 was dedicated to reading the blogger's roadmap ebook. It took me half a day to go through this 80 page ebook. There is some good information throughout this ebook, although some facts might be outdated. From this ebook, I got the idea of building a vlog, uploading the videos to my YouTube channel, and linking the videos to my blog. My suggestion is to go through this ebook, don't skip or skim it, it will give you workable ideas. Day 4 is when we start building the first serious blog post. I took on the idea of journaling my progress through the Partnership to Success program. As I said above, I am going to prepare videos to enrich the blog. The videos will be uploaded on my YouTube channel, and linked in the post. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world, second only to its parent company, Google. 8 out of 10 video search results are YouTube videos, and the platform is constantly growing. With the right keyword usage and YouTube search optimization, I could intercept YouTube searches and direct them to my blog. Google also prefers to rank videos from its own company YouTube. So I could increase traffic to my blog also from Google searches. On day 5, we focused on setting the blog with the necessary legal requirements to run an online business. I use a service called Ayubenda, it is easy to set up and not expensive to use. On day 6, we concentrated on adding list building functionality to our blog. John shows you how to do this with Aweber, but you can do it with your favorite email marketing provider. I use the email marketing functionality included in System.io. And that brings us to the end of the first post in the series. Subscribe to my blog, you'll get immediate access to updates on my journey. Also, don't forget to leave a comment. Thank you for watching.